Welcome back, everybody, to Funky Star TV. Yes, the topic when all of us go talk about in this particular segment now about uh, things when they happen because we don't hear again see PDP mistakenly sue Peter Obi and uh, Asha Waju. Bola Tunubu, the APC presidential candidate, come this 2023 presidential election. But first, if you want to further continue to destroy Nigeria and to make sure, say, you disintegrate Nigeria. I mean, I'm talking about the APC and PDP people. So you have to, if you want to, destroy and make sure Biafra, they go their way, Ududuwas, they go their way, and the North Ankabas, they leave Nigerian people alone. Then you have to continue with on a President Muhammadu Buhari's so called failed legacy or legacy. Any other one call her, call her. Because some group of people already they advise uh, Bola Ahmed Tunubu to continue to campaign with President Muhammadu Buhari failed legacy. Because they believe, see, President Muhammadu Buhari don't do a lot of things for their own political party. In fact, favored APC from A to Z. Since the existence of existence of President Muhammad Buhari, the only thing when in do not to favor only APC people that comes out from the northern region. The ones when come from Biafran land, we all know waiting on our President Muhammad Buhari tell them. Even the time when they select their ministers. And uh, uh, people when go South Buhari, all these things causes problem inside Nigeria. There between the Biafran politicians and the Northern politicians. And remember all those why when the problems that they come. Bola Ahmedi Tunubu is all along with the Buhari people. Okay. Now, then they tell us, see, the Ashawaju Bola Tunubu himself, say, in not be President Muhammad Buhari. So, make you, when be Nigerian student, and when be Nigerian person, and Nigerian masses, people, everybody in general, make we not blame Bola Ahmed Tunubu for the wrong things when Buhari don't do. Imagine. And the same, uh, this Bola Tunubu, when the second right hand man to President Muhammad Buhari, or the first right hand man to President Muhammad Buhari, now him the one bring come. And he no say them fail. He also joined them, follow fail Nigerian people, follow loot Nigerian people, follow punish Nigerian people. The same man that they tell you, see, make you not blame him because of Buhari's failure. So, accept me, let me be Bola Tunubu, we don't fail before. But not blame me because not be me. Now, Buhari failed. So, Buhari is APC. APC is Buhari. And who is their chieftain? Who is their chairman? Bola Ahmed Tunubu. So, if we are to blame these political uh, elites, the politicians in Nigeria, most especially the APC people, when they in power today, hmm? The power, uh, I mean, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, the APC people, when they in power today, if we are to blame them, na Bola Ahmed Tunubu, we will start from. Because the man get all the whole access to make things right with President Muhammad Buhari. The man get all the whole freedom 
to advise President Muhammad of Wari that this route, road, when we they go on our wrong road, make you change. We have to blame uh, the Jagaban of Lagos State completely for APC and Buhari's failure because Jagaban, now him be their chairman, their overall boss till tomorrow. So why are we not going to blame Bola Ahmed Tunubu? All of them, all of them failed Nigerian people. But like I said in my openings, if you want to further destroy Nigeria, you want to further continue to punish Nigeria, you want to make sure Nigerian economy eh, failed completely, make enough begin follow Buhari, APC, PDP, and Buhari's legacy. So, Buhari's legacy is a failed legacy. PDP article legacy, a failed legacy. Everybody that already know now, say, article, not a go, nowhere. Article himself, no. The PDP people, all of them, they don't run, leave article out back. The same story, where we don't hear about PDP today. Say, their chairman, they don't want them there. The same thing when APC now don't start their own. Say they don't want their own uh, party's chairman. So the same kind of problem when they get in APC, now you see they in PDP. And if you still go to Labour Party, you see, see, see the same problem still they there. But I think Labour's party's own day a little bit uh, uh, less than, you know, all these people. I mean, APC and PDP. But whether they want, you know, they use all kinds of weapons against themselves because of money looting, because of power. Now, the news they tell us today say PDP people, PDP people, the group of PDP, hmm? they don't sue Peter Obi and Bola made it to hmm? Then they ask court, make court disqualify Peter Obi and Bola Ahmed Tunubu. I now understand why they go sue Peter Obi. I now understand. You know. Peter will be an Igbo person. Remember, I don't tell him, I say, if Peter will be lost this election, Igbo people in general, then they into a very big problem because they not will come again with the fire and fury against them. Just like the way when they do none they can until they arrest this innocent man. Tomorrow now, the media, they don't see something to write because none of them can well, no say anything when carries in the canoe's name, they move mountain. So now man man the canoe's health matter when everybody they jump into. Man the canoe, man the canoe is sick, man the canoe is this, man the canoe that. Waiting, man the canoe don't do to Like I said before, man the canoe never, never soak his hand in any dirty but your politicians dealing with you day in and day out all of them soak their hands in dirty dirty things in that country and even in outside country if not be say god god arrested equiri mado himself who for no say politicians then then they uh, traffic human humans and their kidneys together who for no so these are the hidden things when Nigerian people got to know about their present politicians in APC and PDP. Another thing, when somebody like Omo Elisho or Renman Nekano, they want to stop because they don't see through all this and say, this mean, when would they, you know, the clamor say them be our champions? I mean, champions in politics. I mean, your leaders say they're not being. Because if you look through them very, very well, all of them get skeletons in their wardrobe. A to Z, A, P, C, including their members. So because they feel that they are above the law. Nobody 
is above the law. Not even President Muhammadu Buhari. When on they tell us, see, he's still there. But I don't tell them. If on our vote Atiku, if on our vote Bola Medi Tunubu, I say on go go fine. In fact, where then bury on Buhari in Saudi Arabia, making him return to power for Ona. Because the thing when Atiku will take on I see. A lot of people, don't they tell Nigerian people, say, be careful, lo, somebody like Bola Ahmed Tunubu, now like Abacha. Now the same level, when they take the red Bola Ahmed Tunubu. So, meaning, in fact, in all these things, now news, they carry them. Now people, they expose them. Say, be careful. If you vote this kind of person, you voted Abacha. That is everything what Abacha don't do to Nigerian people so far. Although we know, say, Bola Tunubu don't do a lot of bad, bad things to Nigerian people. Then they claim, say, Bola Tunubu now make Lagos be paradise. Anytime when we travel uh, to Nigeria, now that Lagos person they stay. I not see any paradise. There is no road, no electricity. Every night you can't sleep. Everybody get their own generator. So tell me now, where somebody like Atiku Abaka, na generator seller, na ain't get a company where they sell generator. Tell me how he want to give you electricity. When he no say, if you if him bring you electricity, you no go buy his product again. You no go buy generator from him again. So tell me how that kind of person want to give you electricity. So what are we saying? People they claim say Bola Tunubu make Lagos a paradise. Lagos is not a paradise. Lagos is a dumping site. Lagos have no electricity. Everybody is using generator. Both rich and the people who are not rich, everybody using generator at night. There is no part of Lagos today when you will find electricity. 24 hours. They give you electricity now in 10 days time. You, die, you, you, you get electricity, you don't get electricity, you got to pay that bill. Continue paying the bill. You die, you get it, or you don't get it. So people are paying bills without electricity. You know that kind of contract. Because this kind of thing will continue until you now go make a change. Nobody will change that country for you. Only the masses have the power. Hmm? to bring in a change to that country. So, if APC and PDP, they know they build infrast infrastructures, they know they construct, nothing they happen, schools shut down, everything shut down. So, what do you need them for? What are they still doing there? What is the reason why Bola Tunubu the campaign? Waiting to make Atiku Abaka stand up. Get that God saying one con campaign upon the whole thing. When Obasanjo, Obasanjo, Nahinu, Atiku Abubaka better. And then don't want Nigerian people many, many times. Even about this zoning, when Atiku and his group, that is APC people. The zoning, PDP people recognized the zoning full time. But at the end of the day, that they tell us, no, the non was zoning, they never zoned before. You can imagine. Because then they claim, see, uh, the Biafran people, they claim, say, now they are torn. So because, say, now Biafran people, when suppose control things in that country, when suppose they are so rock come 2023, according to the way when them plan up from Kiri Nobi politician, but we know what in them they tell us, say, no, na zoning. Long time this their zoning, don't they rain they come. Suddenly, because in uh, E-Boston, they say no, they don't want now those kind of people you won't trust. Now those kind of people you won't give your future. People when full of incompetence. People when they say good morning, good afternoon, and good night now why you. Now those people won't give you your future, your children's future. That is the reason why 
if you know, say, you don't want to give those people, this group of people, APC, PDP, including Labour Party, your future, brother, brother, you better turn your back from these people. Buhari's own don't finish you. Buhari don't do it own. Now go, they go. Only thing when that one they tell us, according to Nase Buhari, they na story. Recently, Buhari traveled, VP traveled. All of them just leave Nigeria like that. What do you think? That one supposed to tell you something. Say, not be countering when you get na dumping side. So, ladies and gentlemen, now here we go stop. Oh, oh, now don't hear. Oh. Uh -huh. Then sue Peter Obi, sue the other guy. You know, this time now, when 2023, they don't want to reach now. Now, so, so sue, we will hear. Whether now, I'm out, they take sue, oh, funky, they say, hey, no, no. I believe, say, now, I'm out, these people, that they take sue their oppositions. Because before you know what thing they happen, the ne in the next minute, you go see Atiku, Abu Bakr, and the people, when in claim, say, in sue. Then go they drink, they dine, and wine together. You go they wonder, say, man. So, if you could say, in su bola to nubu and pita obi. So, what thing that they do for table now, they dine and wine? For. And then claim. And later, later, you say, oh, they don't settle. No, we don't settle. We all are one. You know, we are brothers and sisters. So, now, so they will continue to the lie to Nigerian people. This su, what did they claim? Most especially APC saying they sue PDP member or PDP member telling you they sue APC members. Brother, all of them. Now why you? Now mouth sue. Now mouth when they take they sue each other. You know what they do. Pretty well. One love everybody, ladies and gentlemen. You know, see, you never subscribed to our channel before. Please do follow us. Subscribe. Keep on watching and keep on sharing from these videos. And also, we got a lot happening to share to your people. One love. Bye.